So Liam Smith scheduled to fight Liam Williams. Now I know that Liam Smith is here today, and uh, uh, I believe Liam, Liam Williams is here as well. Uh, if I may say, it's at an early stage, and I'm not the promoter's spokesman, but this does shape potentially to be a British fight of the year. Yeah. So, without doubt, without doubt. So Liam, could I ask the two Liams if they'll join us on the stage for just a moment or two? Thank you, if you are here. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly Liam Smith is here. Liam Smith, Liam Williams, great to have your company here today. Thank you very much indeed. It's, um, I suppose, if it is to be a title fight, we should start with the man who's claimed to domestic honours, if you'll forgive me, in recent times. And you've come from nowhere to be in against one of the highest rated fighters in, in, the, in the division, in the world. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for myself. Um, you know, I've, I've moved on pretty fast coming from being Commonwealth champion, British champion, um, and now I get the opportunity to fight Liam Smith, which is, um, he's obviously been world champion before, he knows what it's all about, um, which is a massive opportunity for myself, and I can't wait, exciting times ahead. Now for you, uh, so much went so well, how have the last couple of months been for you on, on the back of the defeat, which was, for anybody in any doubt, uh, one of the biggest fights of the year in the United States. Commercial, Frankie, did wondrous it, things, it didn't did, it? It did, and uh, it was, it, I thought it was a great performance by, by Liam. But nonetheless, a defeat against a man who is widely checking last yeah. night, at this moment, pound for pound, number one in many Well, he is, quarters. but also Liam, uh, he sustained a bad cut <clears> above <throat> his eye, and uh, normally he wouldn't, you know, he'd ask for a bit more time for that hill, and he wouldn't have any of that. He wanted to be in there, and he went in against Canelo, and I think he's given Canelo his toughest fight for a long time. So in defeat, what do you take out of that? Uh, you know, you'll, you'll see what, what I've learned from the next time I step in the ring, and that'll, that'll be April the 8th, but you know, all, I took it all in, all the, all the build up, you know, the fight in general didn't, didn't play out the way I wanted it to. You know, I lost to a good fighter, but you know, the, the, the camp I had was probably the worst camp in <coughs> all my fights, but again. And, and why was that? Because of the injury? Just, the yeah, I've always had, you know, fighters say they get middle injuries and all that. And personally, I've never had, I've always, had, I've, I've never ever complained to camps, but, you know, that one uh, scans on my wrist and obviously, you know, it's what I've mentioned now, the cut I had, but, you know, as a fighter, I said that the cut wouldn't bother me. It didn't bother me in the fight, it never ever run my eye, but, you know, when I look back, the cut killed me in camp. You know, the, the, the six, six weeks that I missed the good bar and killed me as in, you know, a fighter will tell you, you need time and every fighter needs good time and, and my time was, was way off, but, you know, again, I'll learn from that and, you know, you'll, you'll see people eat what I've learned from it. And what do you make of, of the progress of the man to your left over the last 18 months? It's been rapid, hasn't it? Yeah, he's, he's come through every last of them. He's put everyone in front of them and, you know, he's, he's improved. You know, quite fast over the last year. I expect him to improve. Well, you know, like his coach, he's got a good coach in Gary Lockett. So, you know, it's not what I didn't expect him to do. Once he got to title level, I expected him to start improving. You know, this fight was meant to happen for the British title. You know, they, they weren't ready then. They've improved. They are ready now. So, you know, in April, you'll see whether he's, he's ready to stay, you know, step up and take that, that next step towards a world title. Fine words. Uh, sometimes we, well, we don't need to build this fight up, but there is normally that little bit of edge between the two fighters. Is it a bit too early for that? Everybody's on best behaviour today. Yeah, everybody's on. But, they're, but this, this is fight. This will be, this will be fight of the year. I'm, I'm convinced of that. It will be. Liam Williams, last word on this one to you at this stage with uh, what best part of two months to get ready for it now. Yeah, just really excited for the next couple of months ahead. Uh, massive opportunity once again. And yeah, just, just can't wait for the opportunity. Terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam Williams, Liam Smith. And if I might suggest, just for the benefit of the cameras here today, it is a little bit early for the head to head, etc. But we'll just get the two boys to stand up in front with Frank, and uh, we'll give the photographers the chance to get a few good snaps of these two big British rivals. Well done, mate. It's all good. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you very much indeed to both of you.